Welcome to the lecture Matrix Dentist Prosthetic Procedures. First of all, I would like to talk about the flexibility the matrix system offers you, starting with, um, with the materials. So um, you can actually do prosthetic in metals like zirconia or chrome cobalt. You can do different zirconias and you do um, for temporary especially, you can use PMMA either milled or 3D printed. The indications for your um, situation in the patient's mouth, starting from all kind of single crowns up to bridge works and further to full arch restorations. Uh, the limitations and of angulations are um, basically you can have an angulated placed implants diverging between plus minus 50 degrees. So in between two implants up to 100 degrees diversion and you are able to um, uh, correct the screw channel up to 30 degrees with a special screw. Um, important for the materials is to know that you should never use in the matrix connection for the connection a uh, zirconia um, which is has, has um, a lower um, megapascal than 1100 for titanium it should never be lower than 860 chrome cobalt the same and for the polymers either 3d printed or milled it should be always higher than um, 100 megapascals um, make sure that you always respect the indications and limitations from the instruction for use of the material used. Most common grounds for aesthetic options are starting from monolithic grounds uh, or uh, cutback uh, techniques. Uh, you can do um, all this in PMMA um, or um, um, also in zirconia. The, in zirconia you are also able to do a cementation uh, on top of your um, crown especially when there's a too strong angulation in aesthetic zones it's still possible that you do a mesial structure and cement a crown on top of it and for the metals I think it's um, mostly used for a, a framework and then you can directly veneer or do also a mesial structure and cement a ceramic or aesthetic crown on top of it Looking into the most common bridge prosthetic options, uh, it's the same here. We have the monolithic, um, direct monolithic uh, prosthetics um, for bridges in, in, in PMMA. We can also use, for example, peak, peak for bar constructions and PMMA as uh, temporaries or also as in cutback um, to veneer. Um, in a temporary situation. Zirconia is final restoration, uh, monolithics uh, is to possible, cutback possibilities are um, possible um, from three unit bridge up to full arch restorations and you can do uh, zirconia telescopes and then have uh, um, the secondary part um, also done maybe in zirconia. For the metals it's the same, you can do a bar construction um, or a metal um, um, cutback technique which you get which, which you have to veneer or you use um, uh, so-called meso structures and cement your prosthetic on top of it telescopic um, crowns um, can be done as well out of uh, any mat um, metal um, very important slide here make sure to select the right prosthetic screw in combination with the chosen material so uh, the matrix system has um, basically four different screws the first screw is the 2.25 screw uh, this screw is used for titanium or chrome cobalt um, um, prosthetics and the 2.6 angulated screw is only used for angulated screws um, screw channels as you can see it here in this picture and you have always to remember if you have an angulated screw channel make sure that you have the special screwdriver the special dynamic screwdriver in your office that you are able to uh, unscrew or unscrew the prosthetic uh, the 2.l straight screw is actually the state uh, the standard screw for you um, that's, a, that's a, the same screw as a 2.8 straight screw here on this side but you can see on this picture that's a longer screw so the screw head is really in the middle of the prosthetic uh, for example final restoration and um, this uh, 2.8 um, straight screw here on that side you only would use for um, very occlusally narrow spaces then you have also the possibility to use the 2.8 short screw 
Um, here again, uh, uh, the topic is uh, the screws, clinical and lab prosthetic screws. So on the left side, you see all the different clinical screws. It's very important that you use these clinical screws only in the patient's mouth in the day um, when you place the prosthetic and only use if you are um, working chair side in your dentist practice, then you use for producing the prosthetic uh, during the production time, you use the lab screws. You see the lab screws are available for all four different um, uh, clinical screws. Never use a lab screw in patient's mouth. Then uh, the next slide, uh, matrix prosthetic uh, drivers. We have uh, the classical hexagon drivers for all our prosthetics. And as I already mentioned, for the 2.6 screw, there is this special dynamic uh, screwdriver with a special uh, screw head, uh, which you have to use to um, 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 insert the screw, the prosthetic screws. And one thing more to mention, we have the dynamic screw transfer this is needed when you have um, to remove um, uh, angulated 2.6 screw um, because you can reach frictional connection to this screw and that's what you have to use for removing uh, 2.6 screws out of an angulated screw channel in the patient's mouth. Important note is we have always to make sure or you have to make sure that you always do an optical control before you go um, with your prosthetic in the patient's mouth. Control the screw seat of the prosthetic, control the uh, matrix connection of the prosthetic on any cracks or anything damaged before you would um, um, place a prosthetic in the patient's mouth. Here's another uh, handling tip um, for uh, perfect handling. Um, make always sure that you start with the screwdriver, adding your prosthetic screw, and then with the screwdriver and the prosthetic screw on top, please um, insert the prosthetic inside uh, um, the screw. And then you can find easily and centralize the prosthetic into the uh, right um, uh, direction of uh, the implant and before you start uh, um, um, tight up the, the screw please make sure that you move uh, the prosthetic until you can feel easily this one rotational lock is now in, in, in position the prosthetic is in position in the implant and right after then you can start tying up the prosthetic with 35 newton centimeter if it's a final prosthetic um, as I just said, for temporary prosthetic, you use 15 newton centimeter. For final prosthetic, please use also in an angulated uh, case. Please use 35 newton centimeters also for the 2.6 angulated screw in combination with the dynamic screwdriver. Where to get your matrix prosthetic? Um, as a dentist, you have three possibilities. Either you use an already validated lab of um, our um, uh, TRI validated lab labs. You can find um, your um, laboratory matrix uh, certified on our website. You can choose one of these in your uh, closer area, um, which can produce your prosthetic or you have the possibility to um, use your own laboratory, but therefore you have to make sure that the uh, that your laboratory gets in touch with um, the TRI Digital, uh, Digital Academy and starts the certification program to be certified to send us the um, milling test grounds before um, this lever or your laboratory is able to use um, the matrix system or can produce prosthetic on the matrix system. And the third version is validate your chair side lab. If you have your in-house lab, it's the same procedure. You have to make sure that your laboratory is certified to um, by TRI to be able to mill the matrix connection in the perfect um, circumstance. Thank you for listening. See you in the next part. Mm -hmm.